So we have a bit of an emergency. John's stomach started hurting really badly last night and it still hurts today and he can't pee or poop. I know that's kind of TMI, but uh, he can't go to the bathroom. So we're worried about what's going on. Like it's hurting him very, very badly. So we're on our way to urgent care right now. He woke me up this morning, said I need to go to urgent care or the emergency room or something. So I said, I'll go with him. And I just rolled out of bed and we're on our way there right now. I'm sorry that you're hurting. Yeah, I know, I know, so you're probably like all grumbly. He's still driving though, so maybe that's a good sign. He'd rather drive than have me drive. I just hope that everything's okay. I can't have anything bad happen to my baby daddy. So we're at the hospital now, and John's worried that he might have appendicitis. I guess the symptoms he's experiencing are the symptoms of appendicitis, so worried. Poor baby, poor John. You look pretty in your dress though. I need a blanket. Is it cold? Yeah, you got nothing on going on under there. I'm so sorry you don't feel well. His temperature is low. I saw it on the thing. He's 97.4 degrees. I mean, that's not crazy low, but it's still kind of low. You're supposed to be 98.6. He's cold and that's all I had. I wish I had like a big old comforter for you. So while the doctor was examining John, he started pushing down on everything to figure out where it was hurting. And he pushed down right where John's appendix are. And it, John then started hurting very, very badly. Um, his pain got even worse. So the doctor says it looks like it could be appendicitis. So they're testing his blood and stuff right Right now and they just gave John an IV full of strong pain medication so he should start feeling better soon. Are you starting to feel okay hon? You feel dizzy or, or anything? I don't know what they gave you. I'm so sorry you're in pain. Yeah, I was supposed to go fishing today. Well, we're gonna get him all better and then he can go fishing all the time. You'll go fishing as soon as you figure out what's going on and they fix you up. I'll even drive you if you want me to. <laughs> Thanks. All right, John says it doesn't hurt anymore, so that's good. I don't like seeing him in pain like this. It's really sad. I know I was kind of joking around before, but I was trying to, you know, make the situation a little easier, bring some light into it, and now I'm kind of like, oh, baby, this is serious. Well, now it is a good thing that I came with him today. He can't drive now that they put this pain medication in him. So, no, you're not supposed to drive. <laughs> so now I get to be chauffeur home. Now the waiting is the really hard part. I guess blood tests take a long time to come back. John said it could be up to an hour and a half. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, that pain medi medicine is kicking in? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. <sighs> I really don't like hospitals. Mm-mm. -mm. I don't I can like being sick why. or hurt. There's something wrong with me. Aww. Well, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Nobody would like that. I wonder if, I get, if it's my appendix, do you think I can keep it? <laughs> In a little jar? Well, yeah, we'll get some formaldehyde yeah, and Snoopy. we can sell it on eBay. Maybe someone who watches our vlogs will pay big bucks for your appendix in a jar. Free you away. <laughs> How does the pain medicine feel? Good. Does it make you feel funny? Yeah. You just I mean, asked yeah. me. Yeah. You, you just asked me for some lipstick. I was kidding. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but maybe you were only half kidding. Makes your boobs look nice. Well, those are pregnancy boobs. My boobs are even bigger now. Well, the doctor wants John to get a CAT scan now, too. He's in there. I'm sitting on a chair waiting outside because I didn't know if it emits anything that could be bad for the baby. And they said, you know, better safe than sorry. Just sit outside. So hopefully we find out what's going on with him soon. There's John right behind that door. Still waiting for results. Yeah. It takes a while. Mm -hmm. The test results came back and sure enough, John does have appendicitis. The doctor is calling the surgeon and John has to get his appendix out today. My poor John, the pain medication wore off and he's hurting a lot again. So they ordered some more, but I don't know when they're gonna come back and give him some more pain medicine. 
I just, I don't like seeing him hurt. I came home to let the dogs out real quick. I'll probably have to do this a couple times today, run back from the hospital and then go back to the hospital. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stay the night at the hospital with John or not. We still don't know if John has to spend the night at the hospital. It sounds like he might, the nurse said, yeah, he'll probably have to stay, but we still have to talk to the surgeon and we're gonna ask him or her. But I actually couldn't find the car in the parking garage. It was so sad. Well, John was the one who parked it and I wasn't really paying attention or it was pregnancy brain or something but I seriously walked around every single level looking for it and I couldn't find it and I had to call for assistance and someone had to come with a golf cart and drive me around everywhere but I feel bad now because that took me a long time to find the car and it's keeping me away from John's side even longer I would just want to be there holding his hand can all be you go potty you better go potty go on go potty so I'm gonna be gone for a few hours so go on go potty Go potty. Everyone, go potty. Lola, you in the corner. Go potty. Go potty, everybody. Okay, really? Nice leg hump for Kenobi. All right, that's real cute, Thor. Well, at least getting your appendix out isn't that serious of a surgery. I mean, it's always scary, but getting your appendix out isn't that risky. Like, I know John's gonna be okay, but if I were in John's position, I would still want him there next to me holding my hand the whole time because at any time you get put under and you get cut open, it's, it's scary. So I will be right here for him. I'll get him whatever he needs. I'm back at the hospital now. I brought John's iPad and I downloaded a movie on there so he can watch that if he wants to. But it looks like he's feeling pretty tired from the pain medicine. They almost didn't let me back in here. They stopped me and made me get a pass. I was like, I was just in there, I swear. I just had to run home real quick and let our dogs out. My fiance's down in room 15. They moved John up to another room. John's about to go into surgery in a little bit here. Um, they tested his blood pressure and stuff and he's good. Got a little more pain medicine. Some... I've had low blood pressure my whole life. Low? They didn't say it was low this time. So. I'm pretty sure they thought it. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> this stinks. I know. Uh, I'm glad you're here. I'll be here when you wake up, too. I'll be right here. First thing you see when you open your eyes. I hope it's not some guy's balls. I don't think it will be. Should I do that as a prank video? Just get some guy to like, no. teabag you uh. while you're on anesthesia? <laughs> This is the room that John will recover into. He'll be staying the night in this room. There's no TV. I brought you grudge match on your iPad to watch. Robert De Niro, Thanks. boxing. You can, you can watch that. I guess I don't know that for sure, but they said that he would come back here after surgery, so I would guess this is where he's staying the night. I don't think I'll stay the night here. I think this is like the surgery room. Okay, that you'll just stay here afterwards for a little while to make sure everything's okay? Yeah, they like bring you in here and like like wake you up and then like make sure everything's doing fine and then talk to you and probably give you medicine and then I think they move you. And then you get a room with the TV? I don't know, I would assume so I get um, just a regular <laughs> patient room. Yeah. So I waited at the hospital the whole time that John was in surgery and then the surgeon came out and told me that everything went just fine. John did great and he's recovering now, but they still haven't let me see John yet. So I was kind of like, I really wanted to see him and I told John that I would be there right when he woke up but they didn't let me go back in the ICU because I guess another patient was in there that was kind of in rough shape so they couldn't have me back there so I wish I, I could have seen John uh, right when he woke up but I guess he's like really really heavily medicated and um, they're transferring him to another room they said once he's in the other room that I can go in and see him so I came home real quick to feed the dogs and I'm packing up some stuff to bring to John. Eat, eat, eat. Yum, yum, yum. Simon, you eating what I dropped on the floor? And by the time I get to the hospital, I should be able to, to see John and comfort him. Man, it's days like this when I wish I could still drink caffeine. I am so tired, but I just want to be with my Johnny boy and make him feel better. Well, here he is, the champion. He's feeling a little out of it. But mm -hmm. I'm glad you're okay. Love you. Yeah, sure. It's about 10.45 p.m. now and John 
seems like he's more alert. So I'm just gonna hang out here for however long he wants me to. We're gonna watch some TV and chill. And I'm just gonna sit by his side, get him whatever he needs. Uh-oh. Oh, that scared me. John's machine beeped. You're okay though. It stopped. John's eating his ice chips. Starting out with that. And if he wants me to get him any food, I will get him anything he desires. I will even drive to In-N-Out and get him a burger and animal style fries this late. Well guys, it's about 6 a.m. and I just got back from the hospital. They brought me one of those recliner chairs so I just slept there for most of the night. But I'm back home now because the dogs need to be taken care of. Um, John should be able to come home around 10 a.m. today, so I'll be going back to the hospital to pick him up. But I'm so glad that John got this taken care of and he can be on the road to recovery now. And I'll take care of him when he gets home. I'll be Nurse Nikki again. But I'm going to try to get a little more sleep here. So always remember, guys, that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.